Welcome back to the SS Music Festival. African Americans make up roughly 13% of this country's population, but they account for nearly half of the new HIV AIDS cases that are diagnosed every year. It's a problem that's so big, so complicated, you wonder how one person could possibly make a difference. Well, we found one. Check this out. So they don't have to sit out. 57 year old Bambi Gaddis is as tenacious as the disease she's dedicated her life to fighting. <laughs> Armed with a Ph.D. in human sexuality, she founded the South Carolina HIV AIDS Council 16 years ago in the garage behind her house. We're accustomed to running after folks. You know, we'll run after you to save you even if you don't want to save yourself. You know, that's part of the mission. Today, her organization is the largest of its kind in South Carolina, fighting an uphill battle against the stigma, the shame, and the spread of HIV and AIDS. This is a community conversation. We can ignore it, and we have, and we see the manifestation of our, our lack of action. The council runs several outreach programs, including the state's only mobile testing unit that travels to rural areas where testing is often unavailable. It goes where the need is, everywhere from nightclubs to churches. Did you get tested yet? That's no small feat in the Bible Belt. Gaddis Project Faith program has converted once skittish preachers who learn about HIV and AIDS, then educate their own congregations on prevention and treatment. The first time we worked with Project Faith to do our area, we had more people come to be tested than they had equipment to do the test. They've been able to give me the truth about things so that when I talk to my congregation, I'm not spreading my opinion, talking about things that are true. Funding is a constant problem, and with today's economic crisis, it's even harder. But Gaddis has persuaded the state legislature to give her organization $950,000 a year. She makes a most compelling case. Do you invest in life or do you invest in death? Do you invest in saving the next future generation or do you look forward to a generation of young people that go into their middle years and their senior years with AIDS? because that's what's happening right now. Her newest program, Positive Voices, involves exactly the people she's trying to save, African-American women, the demographic that has the highest rate of new infections. Positive Voices is an empowerment model for HIV-positive women, where they become the voice, they become activists, they become educators within their communities to help people understand what it is to live with HIV-AIDS. Even in 2009, with HIV been, being around as long as it has, men will still try to sleep with you unprotected. To be involved is my life. If I wasn't involved, I would be dead. It literally does come down to life or death. And that's why this isn't just a job for Bambi Gaddis. It's her calling. You can't do HIV sitting behind your desk. No, you have to go out. You know, and that's probably a barrier. You know, if this is just a job, you know, you'll never get to where you need to be.